Hello, my name is Gideon Ferber and in this clip I'm going to demonstrate the Maestro 6 workflow in a newsroom environment. For that we're going to use the Avid iNews system and we're going to toggle back and forth between the Maestro controller and the journalist station or the uh, iNews client station. Right now we begin from the Maestro controller side and we are watching the default view uh, that gives us the local preview window, the browser window, rundown area and the timeline area and for more information about the interface please refer to the Maestro 6 workflow clip. The first thing we have to enable in order to work with newsroom or to work in a newsroom environment we have to enable it in the preferences. So if you go to customize, preferences, MOS protocol, we need to enable the MOS connection. The Maestro communicates with newsroom systems through MOS protocol. Of course it doesn't necessarily have to be iNews, it can be ENPS, Octopus, Dalet and so on, as long as MOS is part of the equation or MOS is the protocol used by the system. I'm not going to go through all of the different options, however, what is important, we can define whether we want the MOS protocol or to initialize whenever the application starts or not. We can allow automation uh, synchronization or synchronization command, manual selection or automatic, manual update or automatic as well. Right now I set everything to be manual, so it would be easier to follow the different steps of the workflow. So, after we define the preferences, the next thing to do is to activate the MOS. So just click the Start MOS button, it's green, meaning the MOS is active, and actually we are ready to go. The next part would be to go to the iNews side and see the different options and how we actually create and build the rundown with the old graphic events. Okay, in the iNews client side, the first thing we have to do is to open the Maestro plugin. So we go to Tools, Plugins and open the Maestro. Alright, the concept here is very very simple. The Maestro plugin is actually connected to the same database that holds all the Maestro controller in information and data. Now we install the ActiveX plugin on each of the journalist stations or each uh, iNews client station and all of them are connected to the same database. Now if we click the preferences here we can see how it's actually connected and we can see that it's connected to a specific IP that holds the Maestro database and the database name. Now on the user side it behaves just like the browser window in the Maestro controller. So we can see that folders, we can open them, we see the template. Once we double click the template we can see the content of the page. If we click the play button we can actually see the animation and how the animation looks. And once we are satisfied with the look and the information we can close it. By the way we can also once it's running we can also use a split screen and actually see both the content and the preview of the animation simultaneously inside the iNews. Now once we are satisfied with the information we can save it and then just add the instance into the story. Now you can see that the structure now of the production is quite simple. We are working on the 6 p.m. production. In the rundown we have three stories. President story with three events, interview with one event and the budget that we just add the background item to. Now let's add additional information. So let's say that I want to use the lower third in and again I can select it and I want to change the data and I want to use Angela Merkel. Of course I can type manually the information or set the mode or do any change to the template that I want. Once I'm satisfied I can save it and again drag it into the story. And we have here the information, lower third in is the name of the template and we can see the content. Now th the last thing we have to do is save the production and then we can move back to the Maestro controller and import the production back into the rundown of the Maestro. 
Okay, from the Maestro controller side, the next thing to do would be to select the rundown that we want to import. We go to the Select Rundown button, and in here, from the Active MOS rundown, we can see that it's the same rundown that we worked on, so the 6pm rundown. We move it to the selected rundown side and click OK. As you can see, we get the same rundown with the same structure as in the iNews, so the president story with the two items in it, the interview uh, story with its own item, and the budget story with the two uh, instances or the two templates that we used, the background and the lower third. Now, if I want to make changes or additional changes on top of the production or in s replacing parts of the information that the journalist typed, I can of course do it from the Maestro controller side. So, for example, if I want to replace uh, Angela Merkel and use Obama instead, I can make the change, save the information, and then just queue it and whenever you know, we are ready or loaded, we can click the preview and we'll see it locally. That's it. So we have full flexibility when we work, either type the information on the INU side or always we have the option to change or control the data later on on the Maestro side. The last thing to demonstrate is this is situation in which we have a change in the production or change on the iNews side and how it affects the Maestro controller production. So, the next we'll move to the iNews. Okay, so now in the iNews side, let's say that I want to add or change the content. So let's, uh, for instance, let's add another template to the story. So I want to use the opening, again double click, I can see the content, I can change images, textual content, again I can use the play button to actually see the animation and how it behaves. Again, right now we're using the split screen, I can close that, see the animation, once I'm, I'm ready, save it, and add it to the production. Let's add it as the first item, and now we have the opening and then the background and the lower third. Now let's save it again and then go back to the Maestro controller side to see how the change affects our rundown. Okay, so back in the Maestro controller side we can see now how the update or how the change in the production in the INU side affects the rundown and you can see here that the update icon is flickering and that indicates us that an update is available and if we want we can of course click the update button and see how it affects. So right now you can see that the budget story has been updated and indeed here is the opening template that we added followed by the background and the lower third. Now if I want to change the order again, if, if there was a mistake done on the iNew side of course I can always just drag and drop and rearrange whatever template that I need or I can recreate the order, always update the text, update the content I have full control over the production, whether it's from the INU side or the Maestro itself. Um, so, that's it. As you can see, it's really, really simple to control or to integrate the iNews or, again, any other MOS-based uh, newsroom system with the Maestro. W very easy way to build the rundown, control the content, play it later on from the Maestro. Done. Thank you very much for your time, I hope you enjoyed the clip.